Okay, this video is going to be going through a few questions on bearings. What we're going to be doing in this uh, in these questions is first of all, the first two questions I'm going to do is just find the bearings from one point to another, given some information. And then the last question we're going to be doing is actually using um, some other things, creating a triangle on top of a compass to then find some other bearings. So we'll start off with this question here. We have a tower is on a bearing of 0, 3, 0, so it's basically 30 degrees. Remember with these bearings or true bearings, they're always three digits. So that means we just chuck a zero in front of it if it's a two digit number. So from a house, and what is the bearing of the house from the tower? So it's, what is the bearing of the house from the tower is the key thing we're asking, like from, starting from there to the house. So what we want to do with these bearing questions, the best thing to do is go ahead and start by drawing a compass. Okay, so we let's do a basic compass there. We've got north facing this way. And we're told in the question, a tower is on the bearing of 30 degrees from the house. So that means the center of this, we're going to call this H, that's the house, okay? And this tower is on 30 degrees. So let's put it about there, because that's about 30 degrees. Up there is going to be 30 degrees. Okay, so here's our house. Ah, uh, sorry, the tower. So we'll call it point T. So the question is now asking, what is the bearing of the house from the tower? So essentially, if I were to put another compass sitting on T now, and that's still going to be pointing north, the question is asking me, okay, well, what's this bearing there? Because now we're starting from the tower going to the house. Well, we were told in the initial piece of information that the bearing here was 30 degrees. And as we know, north and south, they're kind of like parallel each other. So if that's 30 degrees in there, that means this also has to be 30 degrees because they're alternate angles and parallel lines. They make that Z shape. Because they made that Z shape, that means they're equal. So now, that means we know that this is also 30 degrees. And if we know that that's 30 degrees, and this whole piece here is 180 degrees, well, what we've left with is we've got now the whole bearing that we're trying to find. So this bearing is now just going to be 180 plus that other 30, which equals 210 degrees. And that's the answer for that first question. Going into this next question, it's very similar. We have Tamworth is on a bearing of, so we'll write and identify the information, it's on a bearing of 340 degrees from Newcastle. Or it is a bearing of Newcastle from Tamworth. So basically, it's the same kind of question. So, of course, that means we're going to start off the same way. Start off with a compass. I'm just going to do it a little bit bigger because it was a bit squished up in that last one. Remember, I've talked about you want to make your diagrams fairly big because things are going to get squished up if you don't do that. So, three. if we're saying that this, is a, this bearing is 340 degrees from Newcastle, well, I'm not going to use point N this time. The reason why I'm not going to say N is because we already got M for north. So I might just call this A for like, you know, A, I'll just use A, and then I can use uh, T for the other one, or I could just use B. Basically starting from point A, going to point B. Doesn't really matter what letter we use. Um, and so going from here, um, so we've got a bearing of 340 degrees. So that's in that fourth quadrant. It means we've almost gone all the way around for a whole revolution. So let's put this point like about here, okay? So let's call this point T for Tamworth. And we know that it's on a bearing of 340 degrees. Now, from this, we know that each quadrant is 90 degrees. So if that's 90 degrees, that's 180 degrees, and that's 270 degrees. But what we can infer from that is we know that this angle in here is going to be 340 degrees minus 270 degrees. It's basically what it's left over. So that's 70 degrees in there. Now, if I'm trying to find the bearing of this, well, again, we'll start off by drawing a compass on where we want to start from. And 
we're trying to find what this bearing is, okay? Because we're now starting from Tamworth going to Newcastle. And again, similarly to what we did in the last question, if we know that that's 70 degrees over here, well, that means that's going to be 70 degrees over there because, again, they're alternate angles and parallel lines. This time, we're saying that east and west are parallel to each other. And you'll see that with these bearings questions, we quite often use alternate angles and parallel lines. We're using those same shapes quite often. Anyway, so now that we know that that's 70 in there, and obviously above and then that first quadrant is 90 degrees, we have our bearing of 90 plus 70, which equals 160 degrees. And just really quickly, um, what you can do as a quick little check to see if you're right, is just looking at that for a second, looking at this bearing that we were trying to find, we've seen that it is, it has to be between 90 and 180, and just looking at my diagram as well, it does kind of look like it's almost 180, so 160 sounds about right. And I do look at that previous question that I also did there, we see that we're looking at that bearing here, and as you saw again, it's in the third quadrant, meaning it's to be bigger than 180, but less than 270, and also my diagram kind of made it look like it was just like a bit less than halfway, which 210 is. So that's always a quick way that you can check to see if you're right. Is it in the right quadrant? Anyway, lastly, I just want to do this question as well. We have a plane flies north from Sydney. So north from Sydney for two, 560 kilometers, then turns and flies east for 390 kilometers. What is its bearing from Sydney to the nearest degree? So from Sydney to the nearest degree. Well, again, with most of these questions, we're going to start off by drawing a diagram with our compass. So, best thing to do is just make it nice and big. And we have a plane flying north from Sydney. So, our starting point is Sydney. And we went north 560 kilometres. So, we went this way 560 kilometres. And then... Let's call this point A, that was like our first um, point. And then it turns and flew east for 390 kilometers. So you're looking at about that. Now when we're doing this diagram, seeing that we flew 390, that means that length should be shorter than the length that I just did earlier. So let's call this point B. We've kind of like start, we've ended at point B. So what is this bearing from Sydney now? Well. What we can do straight away is let's find, let's also draw this line between Sydney and B. And we can see straight away, if we started going north and then went straight east, that's a 90 degree um, triangle, like a right angle triangle. And if we have a right angle triangle with two sides and we're trying to find an angle, we can just do some basic trigonometry. So now if I were to kind of cut out that triangle here, we see that this is our opposite, and this is our adjacent. So, of course, we're thinking of which ratio goes with opposite and adjacent. That's tan. So we have tan theta equals 390 over 560. Yeah, 560, sorry. I was just having a bit of a mind blank for a second. And, of course, now to find what theta is, the theta equals inverse tan of 390 or 560 and you'll put that into your calculator and you get whatever that is rounded to the nearest degree so it means no minutes or seconds or anything just in the nearest degree. I don't have a calculator on me so I'm sure you can go from there but that's how you would solve that question. Just again it all comes down to drawing the diagram, thinking about what you're doing and what I would also do, particularly with these word questions, go through and underline each piece of information because that's really important. It doesn't really matter if this is a plane or wherever it is. All we know is going north for 560, then east for 390, find the bearing. That's all that really matters. Anyway, I hope this video has been helpful with bearings. And if you have any more questions, make sure you ask.